What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to install all the mod 6 on your Apex server. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our future videos. When you're thinking about getting a new mod pack, there's a lot to choose from. I mean, there's so many out there already, with over 2,000 pages on CurseForge alone. So, how do you go about deciding which one you want? Well, why not get all the mods? That's what All the Mods 6 is, and today we're covering how to install it. And every link that you'll need for this tutorial is going to be linked in the description below. Just scroll down, locate the Useful Links section, which is in the description, and that'll cover everything that you need. Let's get started! The first thing we need to do is head to our Apex panel and stop the server with the red stop button. Once it's offline, which may take a moment, you're going to then scroll down to where you see the Game File field. Under this section, you're going to select the drop down bar in which you're going to type in all the mods 6. It should be one of the only things that comes up and you're going to select that. A new pop up will appear that'll say change version and you definitely want to select this. The next one we recommend doing but you don't have to but you want to create a new world. Next, you'll select Restart Now, and that will get the changes fixed once it's all reset. To install it on your client side, you're going to need to head to download.curseforge.com in order to install the CurseForge app for your operating system. For example, I'm using Windows, so I would just select the orange download button. Now, once you have it installed, you're going to want to head to the Minecraft Browse Mod Packs section in CurseForge. At the top, you'll see a search bar in which you can type in all the mods 6 in case for some reason it's not on the front page. Once it shows up, you're going to click the orange install button on the right hand side. After quite a while, it'll finally install and you'll see it under my mod packs in which you can click the orange play button. Then in your new Minecraft launcher, you just simply have to make sure that you're running it and hit play. Now let's get into the gameplay. The first thing you'll spawn with is an Akashic Tome. This is where you're going to get a bunch of different books that all relate to different parts of the mod pack, but I definitely suggest you get the quest book first, as it is the most bare minimum book that you'll find. Of course, if you want more Akashic Tomes, you can always just create one in a crafting table for the low, low cost of a single stick, which don't ask me how that makes sense. But when you get into the quest book, you'll see there's quite a bit to explore. Fear not though, on the left hand side there is an index in which you can select which section you want to check out. For example, you can check the creative area and see different things that you can unlock there, as well as the tips and tricks to find that you've already completed one quest, which will just grant you another stick. Moving on from here though, we're going to talk about Batania. This is another thing that you can get from the Akashic Tome. You get the Batania book in which you can start to read and understand how Batania works. I definitely recommend checking this one out because it is not only a mystical pack, but is also a technical pack. The book can be resized at will, and it is a very, very clear start to what you want to do with Batania and is very descriptive of everything that goes on. Moving on, we're going to talk about the Create mod. Now, I'm using the JEI interface in cheat mode in order to get some of these things, but as you can see, there's a whole lot to explore, as well as some cool blocks that come with this Create mod. But my favorite thing has to be the hammer that can be thrown just like Thor. I could try to show you how to get all these things, but why do that when the creators have their own tutorial series? Go check that out. Next is Pam's Harvestcraft. Pam's Harvestcraft is one of the most popular farming mods out there, and for good reason. There is so much to explore, as well as it's relatively simple. Despite having so many pages, it's all simple farming and simple cooking, which is great for your hunger. Another mod that comes with this pack is Mechanism. This one is definitely a more high-tech level mod, but it's super cool once you understand it. There's a lot of cool things out here, but honestly, I think one of the best things is that it offers different variety of tools, which is just my favorite thing, but honestly, the best part is baby mobs. They have spawn eggs for baby mobs, which is just adorable, but watch out because they'll still kill you if you're not careful. So definitely wear some armor before you get into this fight. The final big mod we'll talk about is Mine Colonies. This honestly kind of reminds me of Clash of Clans in a way. Essentially, you get to build your own town with a working system. You have people that can defend your city as well as help build and create new things for it. It's actually really, really interesting to check out. The more you continue to build and expand, the bigger your city can get. On the topic of chests, 
There's a mod called Looter, which is great for multiplayer servers because you get to experience chests that have unique items just for you, and you don't have to worry about anybody else taking the items from a chest in a city or a village. When it's been used, it'll switch from gold to blue, just like that. On a general note for mod packs like this and mod packs in general, it's definitely worth getting storage built on early. With iron chests, that can be done with ease, and it's definitely something that I recommend, not only for this one, but for all mod packs. In the same way, I definitely recommend you get a backpack as soon as possible, which is not very expensive. Now let's cover a couple of common issues, shall we? The first is if your game is extremely laggy. This could be due to the fact that this is a generally huge mod pack, so you definitely want to add some RAM using the CurseForge menu. Just open up your settings with the three dots on the mod pack and go into the profile options. You can click off memory settings and you can adjust the slider to what you think is best for your computer. And once you're done, you just go to the bottom right hand side where you see the orange none button and select it. If the game isn't running at all, you want to double check that you are running on the client the correct version of the mod pack as well as on the server. Once you are sure it's all up and running, then it should be good to go. Well gamers, that was certainly a lot to look at, but luckily, this tutorial will hopefully help you get started in the right direction. All the Mod 6 is a wonderful mod pack for gamers of all sorts, whether it's technical or adventure types, this is surely going to make your gaming experience a lot better. So what are you waiting for? Get it installed and get started with playing. That'll just about do it for this one gamers. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.